So hello and welcome to Feature Friday. We're going to talk about condition monitoring. That's something that's been in Maximo for quite some time and of course continues in the new Manage. So my name is John Q. Todd, one of the senior business consultants and product researchers here at TRM. So let's just get right to it. So we're going to cover the six easy steps. First, you establish your meter definitions. Then you associate those meters to your assets or locations. Third, you establish the job plans that describe the tasks you want the responders to perform. Then you establish the PM definitions that bring the asset, job plan, and generated work order details together. The new part will be establishing your measurement points and setting the thresholds that you want managed to react to. And of course, don't forget to activate the cron task that monitors and generates the work orders. Finally, you update your meters either manually, by way of an interface, or using inspection forms. So here we go. So our first step is to establish your meters in the meters application. Meters can be of three types. Continuous, for things like odometers and run hours, that have ever-increasing values. Or a gauge meter, where the reading is a single value, such as current pressure, temperature, things like that. And finally, a characteristic meter that is qualitative, like good, better, or best, or perhaps a color reading for things like oil analysis. Given your meter definitions, you can then associate them with your assets or location, either individually or as a group. Your next step is to associate the meters with the assets or locations. On the meters tab under the asset record, choose the meters appropriate to the asset. Note that you can expand each meter line and see more details such as the most recent meter reading, no matter the source. You need to make sure the meters are active, and of course you can add as many as you need. Your next step is to establish job plans for both high and low excursions from the thresholds you'll be setting for the measurement points here in just a minute. These job plans can be as simple or as complex as you wish. They are used by the system to form any generated work orders. Be sure their status is active. You also want to establish preventative maintenance definitions for both high and low excursions from the threshold as well. Here is where the asset, with its meters, come together with the job plan to form the generated work orders. The work order information section is the most important where you detail how those work orders are going to look. The PM definition does not need to have any frequency set, but it does need to be in an active status. Okay, so finally, something new. Setting up the actual measurement points using the condition monitoring application. Each measurement point is set for an asset and a particular meter associated with that asset. You set the upper limits for both warnings and alerts, as well as the lower limits for warnings and alerts. Warnings generate emails. Alerts generate work orders. Then, for each, you point to either the PM definition or just a job plan that is used to form any generated work orders. As a side note, if you scroll down, you can see the history of measurement readings and any generated work orders. Don't forget to activate the measurement point cron task and set it to a frequency that makes sense to you. So let's stop here a moment to ponder what we've built. We've defined meters and attached them to our asset records. The meter readings are being updated either manually by our work teams or automatically by way of a technical interface. Manage knows the thresholds for each measurement point and will generate warning emails or work orders if those thresholds are exceeded. The work orders are formed with information from our job plans and PM definitions. With just a few steps, we've created an automated environment using our criteria that lets us know when there's a problem. How cool is that? So yes, there's a few other features that condition monitoring brings to us, like uh, its interaction with characteristic meters. But we're going to leave those for you to explore. Enjoy your weekend.